Okay, the next most common problem you guys are going to see, they're going to ask you how many drops per minute. The formula starts out the same. It starts out volume in milliliters divided by time in hours. Then you multiply one hour divided by 60 minutes, and then this is your drops per milliliter. So what I wanna tell you is there is a code, it's called micro drip tubing. And that, the drop factor is always 60 drops per milliliter, always. So they are comfortable telling you that this is infusing and it's infusing with micro drip tubing. That means the drop factor is 60 drops per milliliter. You just have to memorize that fact. Otherwise the drop factor will be given to you. 10 drops per milliliter, 20 drops per milliliter. Micro drip tubing, to give you an example, looks like sleet versus uh, regular drip tubing would look more like a raindrop, okay? So when you look at these problems and you read the last line and it says how many drops per minute, you will have already done a brain dump and put this formula at the top of your blank paper. So let's make that, go back to that lactated ringers. The doctor has ordered D5 and lactated ringers one liter over 12 hours and it is to um, use, mm, we'll use standard tubing, 20 drops per milliliter. How many drops per minute? So we're going to go back to our formula. We're going to say our volume in milliliters is 1,000 milliliters. If you put one, you are going to get this wrong. The time in hours is 12 hours. And if you, if you put one liter here, Mrs. Jacobs is gonna have no sympathy. So I'm just letting you know, one hour and 60 minutes, cause she knows you know your conversions. And then our drop factor. So now you actually have to go into the body of the question and look for your drop factor. The tubing is 20 drops per milliliter. When it says per milliliter, that's an implied one, as we talked about, okay? So now I'm just gonna multiply straight across 1,000 times 20, which would be 20,000, divided by 12 times 60. So when you do the math, and let's see. 27.7 repeated. 12 times 60. 720. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have 2,000, 20,000 divided by 720. Yep, 27.777. Okay, so this is really important. You can't have a partial drop, it's hard enough to see a regular drop. So we're going to round this up to 28. For the purposes of this test, it already asks you how many drops per minute. You just have to put the number, put 28, okay? So the next problem that we're going to do is a little bit harder. Same formula. We're going to go back to the ANSA. And you know, you guys, I just make these up. So this would not really be a formulary thing. So ANSA, one gram in 100 of D5 in water over 30 minutes and your drop factor is 15. Okay, so how many drops per minute they're gonna ask you? We're gonna set it up just like before. Um, we don't need the one gram for this problem. We do need the milliliters. We have 100 milliliters. What's our time in hours? You'd have to say 30 divided by 60 is 0 0.5. So that's what I'm going with, 0 0.5 hours times one hour is 60 minutes times my drop factor, which is 15, and this drops per one ml. Again, do I know if I have my problem set up correctly? I'm gonna make sure I do, okay? So I'm being left with drops per minute. So 
now I'm going to say 100 times 15 divided by 0 0.5 times 60. So I think you get 50. I set it up so, but again, yeah. always use your calculator, not your brain. This is a medicine going in and it could be a, a huge problem if you don't calculate it correctly, okay? So again, problems that I want you to do or examples of this formula, and this is just practice, this is not homework, but this will make you better, okay? So page 453, number three and five, and page 454, seven, nine, and 11. Again, if you get stuck on any of those problems, I want you to take a picture of it, send it to me, I'll help you solve it, and you'll do one more.